Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a how to play and full playthrough of Funfair. This is a great family game. It's very easy to learn and it's fairly quick to play. It's played over um, six rounds. Each round consists of three, well, five, five to six actions depending on, technically five, four to five actions depending on if you have your showcase built or not. Um, very simple to learn. The game board is two-sided. We're doing the side where it's easier for players on both sides of the table to see. If you have both players, if it's a two-player game and they're all oriented on one side of the table, you can flip it to the other side and it's just got a slightly different layout. Gameplay is the same, it's just a different layout to make it more convenient for however the players are oriented. So we've already did the setup, but basic setup is very simple. Every person starts out with 30 coins and you get a five hands, five cards, I mean, in your hand, heart cards. You get one showcase card, which is a more expensive attraction. They always cost 20 coins to build, but if you wait till the fourth round, you'll get that for free because at the end of each round, you're placing five coins on it for free um, until you get up to 20 and then you can build it for free. So you could, the, only, the advantage of building it early is you get to take one additional t action each round. So it, if you don't have your showcase built, you only get three actions per round. Once you have your showcase built, you get that extra fourth action. So that can be really crucial because Technically, there's only about 20 moves in the game. If you wait, if you wait to build your showcase until it's free to build, you'll have 20 moves because you'll get three moves for four of the rounds and then you'll get four moves for the last two because there's six moves. Um, you start out with your city deck here. You place two face down. Then you're going to put this blueprint closing soon. And what that means is when that shows up, no more blueprint cards can be drawn. And there's four rounds before that that you get opportunity to draw blueprint cards. The city deck is really cool. It basically benefits everyone. It's kind of, they're, they're all good. Um, basically, it just gives you extra, usually extra coins or extra cards. It's just a little boost. And that's the first um, thing you do every round. This is the market, and all this is is park cards. Um, you can build one of your actions. You can build straight from the market. So you would take a card from market, pay the coin cost, which is right there. Each of them have a cost. Um, and then you would put this in your park. So everyone starts at the main gate. That is not part of your attractions. You have a showcase that you need to build, and you can only build five attractions including your showcase so you're not going to want to put more than four other attractions because you're going to want to save room for your showcase so if you build a card from the market oh that's not an attraction it has to be an attraction first is there any attractions out there mm -hmm. no there's not so these are all upgrades so here's an attraction it's the haunted castle and it's a sideshow so say pretend that was in the market if I wanted to build that, I would put it in my, my park and I would pay the six coins. And the little star with the two in it is how many points that is worth. At the end of the each round, you get coins for each star you have in your park. So that would be worth two coins at the end of each round that I receive. And then at the end of the, the game, they're scoring... There's nothing for the stars, but um, for each icon you have, you're going to be building up these attractions with icons underneath. So, show you that one. So, say I built this upgrade. You you have to pay always pay the cost. That one can't be all that one. That's a real ride only. Real ride only. So here's the upgrade. In the Haunted Castle, I'm putting the guest services. So that would be five coins. So I would stick it right under there just so you could see the icon. And then if I wanted to give them 
pay nine coins later to make it superior quality. So upgrading the whole attraction, put that under there. You can have as many um, upgrades as you want. The only rule is you can't have one of the same name for the same attraction. So once I have the information kiosk behind my haunted castle, I can't have another information kiosk. There's themes, there's a robot theme, there's pirate theme, jungle theme, fairy tale theme. You can also have several themes. There's, you're not limited as long as you just don't have the same name. So I've got a pirate theme. My quality is higher. I have an information kiosk. So right now, this is an icon size of four. So you see the four icons? So if that was the end of the game, the scoring, the four icons is 16 points. So the way to score a lot of points in this game is to build up your attractions with lots of features. Um, and again, there's no limit. The only limit is how they can't have the same same name. There's also staff. This one is a park designer. They also cost coins to build. Um, and a lot of them give you, this one, the asterisk here, is how many points it's worth at the end of the game. The asterisk means, for instance, this one's an end game. You score two points for every blueprint you have. So you're going to want to rack up those blueprints because this one, there's no penalty for incomplete ones. Normally, on the blueprints, you have to complete at least the top half. You do not have to complete the bottom half for it to be considered complete. But And they go from easy to difficult. And when you draw them, you need to decide. With your, you don't have to keep it. You draw um, One of your actions can be draw two of these. You can look at them, decide if you want to keep one, only one, put it in your put it in your hand, discard the other one, or you could keep none of them. But once you've kept it, you're basically saying you're going to complete that. So if you don't complete it by the end of the game, it's 10 points negative. But if you have this park designer, they don't count anything against you and actually get two points for the however many blue point, blueprint cards you have in your hand. Um, the blueprints do not count towards your hand size. You can have as many of those as you want. You can have, um, and the showcase does not count into your hand size, but you can only have at the end of the round five park cards. So if you have more than five at the end of the round during the cleanup phase, you will have to discard down to five. The staff members go over here to the left of your gate. Um, some of them have um, a little tickets on them. Those normally have a in-game points here. If they have a number there, that's the points you get. It's a flat points. If it's an asterisk, it's based on however many, whatever you have, quantity of whatever it's asking for. You get a certain amount of points. But if it has a little ticket, gold ticket on it, you get, um, let me find one. You get a certain amount of points each round for a particular card. So here, the souvenir seller, you gain two extra coins for each side show in your park. So each attraction has a, dip, a type. This one's a food outlet. Um, coming across all food outlets. Leisure ride. So there's several different types. Um, so I covered the blueprints, the market, there's your park deck. Um, you get three actions. We take one action at a time. So the player A card is really nice. So it spells out the rounds and the actions. So first you have the city step. That's where you draw the top card in the city deck and you read it out loud and we all benefit from whatever it says. Then there's the park step. And you're moving this little roller coaster cart as you go. See, there's the city, park one, park two, park three. If no one has their showcase built, you just go over to the guest guest step, and then the cleanup, round two, you start over. So during the park step, you can take one action, then it goes to the next person, the next person, then you take your second action, each of us take our second action, there's four things you can do. 
You can build a park directly from the market or your hand. Um, just a simple note, it's kind of better to get those stars early on because you get coins at the end of the round. So you might want to try to build from the market and keep the ones in your hand for later to build. When it gets more crucial in the game, then you have more control. Like if you have some in your hand that kind of go with um, maybe a blueprint, blueprint card you've already drawn that you know you're going to want to play, you've already got those. You might want to play it out the market because each time one's taken, a new one's replaced. So you kind of have more variety that way. Um, or you can take, that's build, or you can take, you put a card from the market into your hand. That's a take. Or you can draw, shh, sorry. You can draw two blueprint cards or two park cards. Decide to keep one or none of them. You don't, you're not obligated to keep them. So you can choose to take two of these or two of these, choose one or, or discard both. Um, you can discard a, one card from your hand to draw five new part cards and keep one of them. So if I discard a card, I draw five, look at them, keep one, discard the other four. Another action you can do is loose change. So for each attraction you have, not including your main gate, actual attractions, you get one coin. That's a way of kind of building up your coin. Say you're short a few coins to build an attraction you want to build the next turn. You can... Um, accumulate a couple. I mean, the most you would get is five because you can have up to five attractions, but, um, or you can demolish, say you got a blueprint card and none of the attractions you have built will allow you to finish that blueprint. You can demolish one of your attractions and put it in the discard pile and build a new one. But if you have any features built on that, you also have to discard those. So it has to be really worth it to do that. Okay. So that's all your actions you can do again. We do it in the park steps. Then in the guest step, you count up all your stars and you get one coin for each star you have. Um, if any of your staff has tickets on them, you collect those coins and then you get your five coins for your face down showcase card. Um, then you clear the market, refill with new cards, discard down to five cards in your hand. Again, remember blueprints do not count towards your hand size. Um, you can, then you move the starting player. This is the starting player token, um, to the next player. And then you just reset the set tracker to event. That's, I mean, and that's it. Then at the end of the round six, they have these nice little scoring sheets and a cool pencil to do your scoring. Um, and we didn't have to reference the book at all. This is very easy to learn. Do what? Do that part. Players. Yeah. Get three actions. What are you saying? Oh, okay. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, I thought you were, you said it was, players got one action. One action each park phase. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you get three park phases. Yeah, that should be stated in the... Okay, so, sorry, Anthony got my, my train of thought off. <laughs> so, again, it's very easy to learn. Setup is quick. It took me longer to explain it probably than it takes to um, learn this game, I would say. So, we're going to get started. Quentin's going to be the first player. Oh, one last thing I forgot to cover. There's an award card. You only need the one, but we just left the stack there. You draw one by random, turn it face up, and at the end of the game, whoever meets that criteria gets 15 victory points. This one, whoever builds a park with the most theme icons, so we're all going to be trying to collect a lot of themes on our attractions, will get 15 points. Oh, yeah. So it's Quentin's turn. What are you doing? Are you building something? Oh, he's building. Plus six, the giant wheel, and basically what that does is, at the end of these rounds, that's already include my main game. I'm already gonna get three coins. Mhm. Mm so he built a leisure ride attraction. So he has one attraction out of his five that he can have. Okay, so that's that's park. We're in park one. Oh wait, we didn't do the city. Hold on, sorry. Oh. We need to do the city event. This round, each player is affected by construction contracts.
park step. You may build upgrades for half the marked price rounded oh, wow. down by paying that amount to another player of your choice. <laughs> you cannot combine with other discounts. So we all get um, upgrades for half the cost, but you have to give it to one of your uh, opponents, the money. So it's kind of, kind of like sweet and sour. <laughs> So he built his attraction, but you can't build any upgrades until you have an attraction. So, okay, so yeah. that we're in now we're in park one. Quentin took his turn. Now it's my turn. I can either build from the market, but there's no upgrades. So I'm gonna have to build from my hand. And one last thing I forgot to tell you, when you deal out the five cards each, if you don't have at least one attraction in your hand, you turn them face up to show everyone you're telling the truth. Discard them and you draw five more cards. You keep doing that until you have at least one attraction in your hand. Okay, so I am going to build the theater. Oh wait, do I want, that one's actually better. Mine's only worth one, my attraction. Yeah, I've got one. lucky mine's worth two. So I'm building the theater. It's worth one star, so it'll be worth one coin at the end of the rounds. It has a and it costs eight coins and if there's an if there's text underneath sometimes it's something you can do right away sometimes it's something you can do um, for your next upgrade you want to pay attention to those this one i may use an action to build a robot theme on this attraction for free so if i can if i spot a robot theme or if i have one in my hand i can build it for at no cost i just have to use one of my actions so that's my one park act Action. Now it's Anthony's turn. I'm going to build a cinema, which is pretty much a theater attraction. And give me one, please. That only costs four. Yep. Really? Wow. That's cheap. cheap. Okay. So now we're on part two. And it's Quentin's turn. I'm going to discard one. I get five of them and I get to choose some, but I only get to keep one. He loves doing this action. It's already worth it. Mom's looking at your cards. Oh, sorry. I wasn't, I almost said it was space now. I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry. I really don't be there. I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Okay. I chose the one I wanted. Okay. So that was his action. Um, you can also just draw two and keep one. You don't have to discard one. Um, I'm going to draw the two blueprints. Is the event for the whole round of these? Yes, it's this entire round. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely. I already gonna... forgot about it. I'm going to be doing that. Okay, so. Remember, you have to have only five cards at the end of your, your turn. Yeah, I only have four. Okay, so I'm going to keep one of those blueprints. Okay, that was my turn. <coughs> yeah, I'll do that. Well, a blueprint. I guess you have that card. So Anthony kept a blueprint, a copycat. Okay, so Quinton's in park three. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this. So I'm going to be using the event to my advantage. So on top of this, I do the robot theme. Okay. And it only costs six, but to do the event, I have to give the money. So I'm going to give the money to you. Thank okay. you. That's sweet. <laughs> and it's half off, so okay. it only costs six. Oh, this after you build this upgrade, you may immediately build an upgrade from your hand for free. And wow. this one only costs 10, the fairy tale theme. So all these wow. two on it. So he got two themes that normally cost 22 for six bucks, six <laughs> coins. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and he has two, his giant wheel is the robot fairy tale theme. Okay, so. He definitely knows how to optimize his cards. <laughs> so I'm going to build this fairy tale theme 
It only cost me five, and I'll give that to you since you gave it to me. Thank you. Um, after you build this upgrade, you may draw two park cards. Choose one to keep and discard the other to gain coins equal to the half its marked price rounded down. Nice. Draw two, get to keep one. Look at my huge one. Okay, so I'm going to discard that and I get three coins because it's worth seven coins. So I get half of those rounded down. My turn? Mm -hmm. oh, wait. oh no, I didn't take one. Mm -hmm. You've already. And I'm gonna put this, so it's at half, right? Mm -hmm. So I only pay five. And you give it to either Quentin or I. Wow, I feel in love today. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> make it. I need to gain five though. This mine that after you build this upgrade, you may gain five coins. Nice. You have so many coins already from us. Mm -hmm. Liking this. Okay, so that that was the last turn. Oh, so that was part three. None of us have our showcase bill, so we go to the guest phase. So we count our stars. I have one, two, three stars. I have four. So I get three coins. I'm going to turn in two, take a five. Quentin has one, two, three, four. I'm going to turn in one to take a five. Okay. Yeah. And then Anthony has three. three. Turn in two, take a five. Okay. And then if none of us have staff, but if we had staff, mm -hmm. we can collect those coins. Then we clear out the market, discard them, and put five, six new cards out. Ooh. And then we reset, this is the cleanup phase, reset to the event phase, and we're on round two. We move the <coughs> First player token to the next person, so I get to go first. We look at the next city card. So this one is no longer active. You did five oh, to yeah. your showcase. We got we forgot to do that. So we add five to our face down showcase card. It will be free to build, or at this point, <coughs> if I wanted to build it, it would cost me 15 coins. Okay, so each player is affected by the recycling program. Draw a part card. Discard up to three cards from your hand and gain three coins for each card discarded. Did any of you have more than five cards? That I didn't. Yeah. I only have two. Okay. So we draw a part card. Okay. Discard up to three and gain three coins for each card you discard. So we don't get to keep one? Yeah. But you can discard up to three. I'm going to discard want. both of mine so I get six. Okay. No more cards. So you get three per card. And I'm gonna draw my card. Ooh, that is a good one. I'm not gonna discard any. Okay. I'll discard two. Yeah, I did two. You can well. so you'll get six coins. Yep. Okay, so I go first. I'm going to build hard choice. Okay, so I'm I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to build this flagpole feature. Really? Oh no, wait. That one is one. bad. I'm going to discard that and get three coins. I just, I forgot. The flagpoles, you can't do any more upgrades. I don't know why you would build that. It's good at the end of the game to get the last icon you need. Okay, so I'm not going to build that one. You would only do it if you had a whole So bunch. I'm going to build this staff member. She's seven coins. 
And at the end of the game, for each fairy tale theme I caught in my park, I'll get three points. That'd be good. And she's worth two coins at the end of the um, event phase. Okay. Or in the guest step. Mm -hmm. No, it's what I was going to take. Let's see one. I'm going to build this upgrade for free coins. Guest services upgrade. Okay. Wow. Quinn's attraction right now is worth 16 points. If you could get... 17 icons total, including the attraction itself. It's 146 points at the end of the game. Okay, so my turn. Mm -hmm. So oh, we haven't been moving this. We're on part two. So I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to build comfortable seating. Oh, did we ever do the city? Yeah. Well, you can build it as soon as you buy it. Yeah. Yeah, straight from market. Remember, remember? we told you that. Oh. Okay, my turn. I'm going to build this. It's 10. I knew you were going to take that one. I almost took it. And after you build this oh, upgrade, you may one. draw up to five cards and choose one to keep. Oh, there's the five. Right. What? Uh, the, uh, oh, okay. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. Three, you can change from this one to turn the five of these. Is that five? I don't need one more. I don't have any chains. <laughs> so you can go. He's just picking his card. Oh, okay. So I do this. And a left call seven. Comfortable seating as well on there. Wow. <laughs> so Quentin's is worth 20 points already. <laughs> he has a restrooms. Can you put restrooms on a leisure ride? Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Oh, them. I guess you're putting it outside of the leisure ride, huh? Wait, that would be weird if you put it inside. <laughs> Why would you have restrooms on a wheel? <laughs> the bad thing is, though, they don't have any stars on them. Okay, so now we're in Park 3. And... Oh, we need to put this. I'm going to build this quality upgrade. For well, that's what I was going to do as well. On the third one? Yep. Okay. And this one. So after you build this upgrade, you may draw two cards, choose one to keep, and discard the other to gain coins equal to half its marked prize. Wow. wow. <coughs> nice. Yeah. Notice we're all going for the stacks of upgrades this time. Before we were building as many attractions as we could, but we figured it out that it's actually better to stack as okay. many as you can. So nine, rounded up, as said. So I get five. Okay. So Quentin's turn, and then that'll be the end of part two. Okay. Yeah. Good cards. Hurry up, choose. Oh, yeah, I can build one. No, you can't build that one. You have to wait. You just put it in your hand. Oh, yeah. It has to be from the marketplace. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that one do, actually? We well, already drew. You already drew. So it doesn't matter. I know, it's just so <laughs> Okay, so now we go to the guest space. Um, we count our stars. One. I have seven. I have five. I have five. 
Okay, if any of your staff has anything, no. Um, we get our five tokens that on our showcase. And now we do the cleanup phase. We remove all the market cards and replenish. We, Anthony gets the first player. You discard down to five cards if you have more than five heart cards. And we reset the tracker. Done. And the city. we draw the city card. Industry incentives. Draw a park card. You may reveal a card from your hand and give it to the player on your left. If you do, gain coins equal to half its marked price rounded down. Okay. So did you draw a park card? Not right now. Yeah, draw one. Yeah. And then you can, if you want, reveal a card from your hand and give it to the player to your left and you gain coins equal to half. You gotta reveal it. Why would you give me that? That helps me. Get... No, I it's a rounded up. Round it down. Down. Ah. Two. Well, I gave him a nine one. Oh, well, I can't see that. It's too far away. Why did you think it was two? <laughs> so draw your park card. And then if you want, you can give me one. Mm -mm. Okay. Ooh, nice. I'm not giving you anything. Alright. Okay, so it's Anthony's turn. <coughs> okay, playing this. So it's three. Why did you just do? Gain two extra coins for each theater in your park. Okay, my turn. I'm spending nine coins. Okay, one okay. back. Okay, my money down here. Wow. So my mm -hmm. uh, uh, so many on here. So, his is so large. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to build this food outlet attraction for seven coins. And my next... Did you pay? Mm -hmm. right. yeah, yeah, I did. And I can use action to build a jungle theme for free. So that was, we're on part one. So now we're on part two, actually. Not sure. Mm -hmm. So I'm placing this one. That's 11. I have to pay. Okay. All right. We got to discard this. Draw five. <gasps> yes, that's what I needed. I need those. Okay, while well, he's picking his card, that'll be a while. <laughs> I'm going to use my action to build this jungle card for theme card for free. Mm -hmm. um, but after I build this upgrade, I may draw up to five park cards and choose one to keep. So I'm going to do that. You're still choosing? Oh, you did choose. Yeah. So that now we're in park three. Yeah, okay, I'm building this eight. Dang. Okay. Anthony's got one, two, three, four, five, six icons. And remember, they can't. Any of them have the same name. I can't see that far. There you go. My turn. I'm spinning. Did you pay? Yeah. I'm spending ten. Okay. Okay. Um, after you build the baby me, show off the five park cards and choose one to keep. Oh, they can be the same one, they just have, have to be the same name, it can't be the same name. Yeah, they can't be the same name. Even if they say guest services, but they're different names. I think so, right? What? Just, yeah, they can't be the same name. Oh, well, bound. Can't read that upside down. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna build the staff member for six. And now when I build a feature upgrade, it's reduced the price by two. So that was on part three. So you're not going, are you? You didn't go, did you? Uh -huh. Okay, so no one built their showcase. So now we're on the guest phase. Count our stars. Two, one, nine. Eight, four, five. I got seven. Okay. I got 12 because I got two for um, this one for my theater. And then do you have any staff members with no uh, tickets? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, that's why I did. No. Okay. Um, then we get five on our showcase. Oh, you already did it. Yeah, we did. Okay, then it's the cleanup phase. Let me reset this back. Clinton gets the first player token. Okay, let's see what the cards are first on there. Oh yeah, I don't think we can get the blue quench anymore. Yeah, we can. Oh. Hmm. Was oh, that different? Oh, that's different. Five. Five, ten, eleven. Deluxe quality. I'm going super deluxe quality. Mm. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're oh we didn't do the city card. Oh no. Okay, this is the last round to draw blueprint cards. Okay, so special offer. Reveal the top card of the park deck. You may put it, this would be you. You may put it into your hand and stop or discard it and reveal another. Discard it. Up to a maximum of five cards revealed this way. Each of us get to do that. Second card. Third card. We get to draw how many? Up to five. And pick Four. one? Mm -hmm. We do one at a time. You stop when Fifth. you put one in your hand. Okay. 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 So did you go already? Mm-mm. Okay. I'm going to park one. I'm going to spend my last gold coins for another one. I need to get more gold for money. How much was that one? Five. Oh. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's worth 46 points. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... Let's see. Okay, I'm going to spend four to build another staff member. My turn? Mm -hmm. Wait, how am I supposed to get more money? I just realized that. At the end of the round. That's it? <laughs> what about loose change? How much you do You can do that. You only have one attraction. Oh. You get one coin. What do you do? Um, We're on round two. I'm just going to discard this and draw five cards. You can draw blueprints. Mm, it's not worth it. All right. Oh, no. I need two more cards. So I got three. Tapped out. What does that mean? Ooh! What's You're that out mean? of money? Yes, I need that one. Once I have money, I can actually build that okay, I'm going to build this freak show attraction for four. Okay, I'm going to build this one for five. Okay, we're on park three, right? Already? Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. It goes this game. The rounds go so fast. Your turn, Quinn. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have any money. Uh, I guess I'm... You can just get a market and put it in your hand. You realize you could pick the blueprint, and if you don't like it, you could. You don't have to keep it. You can yeah, you may discard. already have met the criteria. Oh, can you discard blueprints? Yeah, you don't yeah. have to keep one. You can keep you, one you... or zero. 
Yeah, you, you can pick. You draw two and you choose. But it takes one of your actions, but... but I can always discard my blue pool? No, you have to well, decide you have to discard, now. You have to discard as soon as you pick it up. You either keep it or discard it now. You draw two and you decide. Mm, I don't want that because I can get minus points. But it, you may have already met the criteria. Maybe. I only have one ride. All right. That'd be very unlikely. Well, do something. I'm just going to draw You can draw two, two cards. Card cards and pick one. What am I going to do? <gasps> That's the one that I needed. So I have money, I can build these. It's very pricey. Those themes cost a lot. Yeah, they do. So... I'm just going to try two blueprints mm. see what I get. Well, I'll get two blueprints see what I get. I am confident I've won the game. So get the money. <laughs> Discard both. Really? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so we're on the guest phase because no one's built their showcase. So one, count your one, stars. Two, three, four, five, six, ten, seven. I got nine. Nine? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I get two coins for each sideshow. I have 13. Wow. Did you count this one? I need to remember I can, I paid two less to build a feature. I need to remember that. Yeah. Feature upgrade. You did. Oh, okay. I can remember. The feature is the little um, yeah, did. Okay. flags. Okay. So now we clean, you didn't already discard all these, did you? No. Yeah. So now what we do, the blueprint is closed. Okay. And no more blueprints. Um, and oh, we each get our last five coins on our showcase. So we get Ooh. to build them for free. That's helpful. That is very helpful. Oh, and I get the first player token. And if you have more than five part cards, you need to discard down. I am going to buy this. Oh, oh, wait, we actually need to do the city. Yeah. I always forget that. So it's two more rounds, this round and the next round. Not so secret Santa. We like this Choose one. a card in the market that the player to your left can build into their park for free. If there's no such card in the market, clear and refill as needed. The player to your left may put the chosen card into their hand, build it immediately for free, or discard it. So, so, so it has to be what? So here, I'll let you build this one for free. All right. You don't have to. But I will. Mm -hmm. It has to be an upgrade. Uh, any card in the market. You get to build it for free. So you're picking one for Quentin. Surprised you didn't do that one. I can't build that. It has to be one he can build. Uh, one that he can build? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't build that. I gave you the one that's worth yeah, no I stars. I can build these. <laughs> yeah, that one. Thank you. Okay, and then you pick one for me. 
You need to pick one, Quinn. No. Um, here's the restrooms. Okay. If you can you build that. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Welcome. So now I get to go. Um. So I'm gonna do this quality on my sideshow. It's a superior freak show mm. for nine coins. And we're on park one. Place that card. My turn. Okay, I'm gonna do my showcase. Oh yeah. Forgot about that. I'm gonna get some leash chains. I need that extra one. Why is this oh that's your jungle performer? Okay. He gave me that for free. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade or build my showcase. Ooh. We're in part two. Mech defender to you. Cool. And that means we now get an extra action for the last two rounds. Yeah, I'm gonna build one. And it has a built in theme. Alright. Build my showcase. Okay. Mine is the Wicked Queen's Tower. Okay, we're in part three. And. I'm gonna have a lot of bees. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm gonna build this fairy tale theme on here, I already have one of my other ones. Cost 10. Actually, no, yeah, it still costs 10 because it's not a feature. My turn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 10. Your turn, Queen. I'm going to do this. Oh, I forgot to do this after I built this last time. What? I get five coins. After you build this upgrade, you may draw up to five parks. After you build this upgrade, okay. you gain five coins. It's another theme, pirate theme. Wait, I'm still doing I, much on that. I get five coins for doing it. For what? My pirate theme, I added another one. Oh, it also is all my coins. Uh, was that part of the card? I built the pirate theme. Huh. This is turned into a mess. All the things that I have on here. Okay, so we're on part four already. Wow. Already? Okay, so I only have two coins. I have five, luckily. Put that in my hand. Did you pay the 10? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I got five back for it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna get five. My turn? Mm hmm. Yep. How many themes do you have on there? Enough. <laughs> no, I have more. Seven. I'm gonna spend free on this flagpole. I'm not gonna build it. I'm just gonna put my hand. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to pay anything. You have to pay until you build it. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so that is the last park action for this round. So we go to the guest phase. Counter stars. Two, three, five, six, 15. seven, eight, ten, eleven. I have 14. Do you have a jungle? Yeah, you gave me that for free. Yeah, but this one's not jungle. No, this jungle theme. That has to be an attraction. Jungle theme, theme. icon. Theme. Oh, okay. So you get three points? Oh, that's a thing. How many do I have? One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. You've been counting. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, what six. about that one? I got 18. Oh, you get 15. Oh, wow. 
Give me another one with a 10 and the 5. That's fine. Okay. Oops. Too many. That's not a 10. That's a 25. Oh, <laughs> I thought there was a 10. So you get 15. So you should have 20. So you have 5 already. Oh. And you get the... No, wait, no. Yeah, weren't you first player? Okay, yeah, we're on the last round. So clean up. We clean all that up and... Hope it's one that need. You discard down to five if you have more than five. We'll move that back. And our last city card is Stock Take Sale. After you pay to build a card from the market and refill the space, each card in the market gains one coin. Each card in the market is discounted by the coins on that card to a minimum of one. When a card is removed from market for any reason, discard any coins on it. And this is our last round, so we have four actions left in the game. <laughs> gonna make them count. I am gonna make them count. Alright, I'm building this. So he built that, so we get a coin. Okay. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna spend five coins, build another one of these. After you build so green, you may draw a park card. I have too many. Mm -hmm. You may draw, oh, yeah. Just, uh, are you just gonna put, it's an upgrade, it has to go on the bottom. We'll just put it on the side, so you don't okay. have more room. Yeah, well, I'll draw a park card from there. Okay. So I'm gonna build her, she only costs two coins. And we put another coin on each one. Wow. That's a good one to get in the last round. It's a good city card. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're on part one. Oh, actually part two. Because you started it. Yeah. Okay, I'm filming this. How many do you have of those? How many do you have? Twelve? Mm. Who's star? The coins? Yep. I'm gonna build this for three coins back. And then uh, yeah, they so get two back. So I cannot build any more upgrades on that. I'm gonna build this one. That one cost me two. Yeah, it's one of the last round. No, it's not. It's part three. There's four. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll figure out the way. Yeah, showcase. Grab two of these and choose one. Go. Do this one? Seven coins for the robot staff member thing? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Literally only cost me one coin. Mm -hmm. Four back. And we put coins on there. So this one has five now. Okay, we're on the last one. Okay. So 11. Oh no. 
You should never theme. I feel I have to have so many. You're trickling. Well, I'm just gonna get this one that has five on it. You need to build it? It's your last chance. No. I shouldn't get more from coins. Oh, wait, it's only if they build it. Okay. So I'm gonna build this one. Yeah, weren't you playing too much? Uh uh. I thought there's gonna be five on one of them. What do you mean? Why would I have been putting too much? Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one we do put more coins on. Well, it's. we're done. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna put this down here because that's our. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on the guest phase. All right, so I get two extra coins for my sideshow. Okay. Four, five, seven. Three coins for each leisure ten, ride. I 11, get three. 13, 14. Plus. I get 18. How did you get 18? 19. Come on, what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, oh, okay. I have the same. I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, So, Van, did you guys get your extra coins for any of your staff that might have? Yeah, that's why I did. Okay. So, I them so oh, yeah, I did get them for my staff. Now, we do, at end of game, did you do your end of game ones? I get three. Oh, that's points. Two of my staffs gave me three points, so I get six points All for right. my staff. So, now we're doing the scoring. Okay, so your attractions, and you're going by icon size. So this one has two. So that would be eight points. You don't count the attraction. Yeah, you do. Oh, you do? It's 25. You got 11 on one? Yep. I got more than you. <laughs> One, two, three, four, eight, 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 eight,
nine, and then this is, make sure you count these victory points. So I get nine plus three, eight, 10, 13, so 22 for my staff members. I got six. Six, anything for this one? Mm -hmm. What about robot? I know, oh, you six. just had one of each? Yeah. I have one of each. I have the okay. robot theme and the jungle theme. And zero. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? What? That might be your demise. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so, and then the award. Who built the most things? Me, because I have 12 and one. So that's 15 for you. Yeah. Whew. I helped him with his not getting okay. blueprint. Yeah. Okay, so 49, 59. 61, 93, 109, I'm up for one, 131, let me add that up again to make sure. Wow, we got a lot more points this time. You could tell we knew more what we were doing. The top score of our first game was 106. So 49, 59, 61, 93, 103. Yep, 131. Okay. 81. 87. 117. 27. 131. 137. I think it's 152. Let me add it up again. So, <laughs> come on. Does count mine. Oh, that's so easy. Yep, one fifty two. Okay, so eighty one. You didn't get hardly any. Ninety four. Did you get the twenty six and the ten? For what, your blueprints? Yeah. Oh, wait. I got yours mixed up. Wow. Wait. Uh-oh. You had 13, right? Quentin had 12. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. I need to do yours over again, both of yours over again. I got your columns mixed up. So Quentin on his attractions. He got 76. Yeah, so this is him. I was putting him in the wrong column. No, so fail. So I did do it right, but that was your point. Yeah. <laughs> You're at 152. You had, but he got the 15 awards. Actually, you weren't at 152. 15. He got six for his staff members. You got zero. I was like mix and matching. <laughs> he had 20, 28, so he got 14, and you got 13, right? For your coins? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 36 for your blueprint, zero for you. 76 and 5, right? 65 and 16 for your. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> so, 81. 87, 117, 20, 130. 130 for Anthony. Yeah. I'm, I'm ahead of you by one point. I think 11, I won. 17, 20. Yep, ahead of you by one point. Told you it was those, uh, you didn't do the staff members. You didn't count my points. So 81, <coughs> 91, 95. 101, 116. Wow. No. I won by one point. <laughs> it was the staff, it was that last staff members. Well, I got the staff free. member I could have saved. Yeah. And it, it would. I got those for free. Remember I kept buying cards for free practically in mm -hmm. the market? That, that was what won it for me. I thought you were gonna win. I know. Yeah, it was my staff members that cinched it for me, I think. If you'd gotten one blueprint, you 
that would have helped. Wait, what was the blueprint that I could have gotten? We don't have, we don't have, we don't have so it was 131, 130, and 116. So I'm undefeated in this game so far. By one point. <laughs> Last game, I really, I you guys weren't even close to me. But we were learning. We weren't, we did not score to our maximum. This is, if you like point salad games, this is a great game. I mean, it's, there's so many ways to victory. So many ways. Like you could go for blueprints. You do kind of have to diversify. You can't put all your eggs in one basket, which is kind of what Quentin did for the most part. You have to. And you have to get a blueprint. Yeah. Well, even in the strategy, it says it's hard to win without at least two to three blueprints. So both Anthony and I completed both blueprints. So I got lucky on mine though. I had one already completed practically. I had to add one card. And that card was in the market when I drew it. So that was an easy one. But both of mine were easy. The easy ones are the ones to go for. Unless you happen to already have it. But you do have to diversify. The, the staff members really help because they give you a lot of coins. Um, that helps. you got to be able to get a lot of coins in between each round. And um, Quinn was on the right track. He just kind of one-tracked with. When he got to this point, he probably should have started maybe doing blueprints or staff members. But trust me, he'll make us pay later. Well, <laughs> he usually dominates at these type games. But this is a great game. It's so easy to learn. And again, so many ways to win. It's a lot of strategy. I mean, the only luck is what you draw. But really, the luck's kind of taken out of it because you have so many choices um, it's, it's more strategy than luck. There's just a tad bit of luck in there. Yeah, there's a, yeah. almost a point where very little luck. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the city cards really make, they're nice. They're like a little windfall each time. So definitely check out this game. If you like point salad games, if you're looking for like a fun game for a group of friends or your family, definitely this is a, you should check this one out. Um, we'll put the product link in the description so you can check it out where to buy it. Um, and again, remember we are running a couple of contests where you can win 50 bucks, they're worldwide. Just go to our website, boardgameempire.co.com was taken, so that's not us, it's .co, so boardgameempire.co. Um, just go to the contest page and there's two on there, so you have two chances. Um, and they're daily entries, so the more you enter, obviously, the more chances you have to win. So uh, we're really excited to be able to do that. And again, we will be doing an awesome Christmas giveaway. Five games. We're up to five games that we have to give away. We're hoping to get up to 12. Anthony's going to start contacting companies soon. Um, we're hoping to be able to do 12 days of giveaways where we give away a new game every single day. So that'll be exciting. And, of course, we will buy some ourselves. Um, if we don't get up to the 12, we'll, we'll throw in a couple there. And we will do some gift cards because we do want to be able to make it worldwide um, so everyone can participate. Unfortunately, though, if it's for an actual game, we won't be able to ship that worldwide. But you would be eligible for the, the couple prizes that are gift card or, or PayPal. So thanks for watching. Um, as always, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!